Hello everyone, I'm Dennis Wang. Let's turn this Mighty 8K into Mighty 12K with this 12K upgrade kit. You have all the parts you need in the kit and it also comes with ACF release film. But on this first video, I won't install the ACF yet, but only compare print result from 8K and 12K with NFEP. This ACF film is for the next video. Prepare your Allen key and masking tape with numbers. First, remove the casing. Then carefully pull the front casing. And unplug the USB cable and front LCD cable. For your information about the LCD cable, the metal strip should face the board when plug it in. Then remove the back casing. I also think it is the right time to do some cleaning, especially with the dusty fan. Let's take our time, admire the beauty of this naked Mighty 8K. Let's replace the LED module. Take out the new LED module and mark the cable as number 2. And be careful with the mirror during installation process. Then to the main board, unplug the second green terminal from the left. It may take some finger acrobat to remove the module bolt, so be patient. Then carefully take out the module and unscrew these two cables. Installing the new module, first attach these two cables, make sure they are inserted properly and screw in tight. Then more finger acrobat to install the new module. A quick tip, if you're having a hard time placing the bolt like I did in the video, then use a magnet to help secure the bolt. But honestly, with camera in front of my face, it makes the finger acrobat harder, so I have to do it off camera. Now let's install the new mainboard, but let's have a quick glance of the new and old mainboard differences. Frozen provide new plug, but the green terminal plugs are compatible to the new board, so I'm not replacing them. Let's mark the number 1 and 4 cables. You can remove the hot glue from the USB splitter with cotton bud and alcohol, or just use brute force like I did. Press the latch at the back to remove this cable. Then unplug the screwing cable from the board. And from the screen. Remove four bolts holding the main board. Flip it forward. Then remove the white terminal cable. Remove the grounding cable from the screen with one finger holding the nut at the back. Insert the white terminal plug that include in the box to the new board. Plug in the cables. Then secure the main board in its place. Plug in the green terminal according to the number, then the rest of the cables. Now remove the tape around the screen. 
Don't get confused cause I already replaced the black tape around my screen with Captain Tape and install screen guard. Get the screen cable and plug it to the new screen. Remove the green tab from the screen. Then place the screen in position. Slip the rest of the cable to the back of the board, then plug it into the main board. Now you can remove the red tab from the screen and install the black tab around the screen. In my case, I am reinstalling the screen guard and captain tape. Place the front casing in front of the printer. Plug in the USB cable and the touchscreen cable. Power on the printer to check all functions, especially the screen. On Cheetobox Slicer, change your print resolution. And then this is the most important step. Replace the 8K sticker with 12K stickers. Now have fun with your upgraded Mighty 12K printer and print to your heart content. Here are my test print results. On the left are Mighty 12K and on the right from Mini 8KS. I don't want to waste your time so I will point out the differences that I could find then you could enjoy the rest of the video with the print result close up. On my letters model, I can see the embossed letter H has sharper detail on Mighty 12K compared to Mini 8KS and on Extrude letter Mighty 12K has sharper details and slightly thinner letters. It's very hard for me to tell the difference for the smallest letter here at the back so what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. For Mirror the Red Panda, at the back stitching here, Mike T12K prints show a bit of the stitching holes details which are not present on Mini 8KS. Those are the most noticeable difference for me and enjoy the rest of the video with close up details for the print result. And kindly let me know your opinion for the print comparison. Kindly like this video and subscribe to my channel and if you want to support my channel directly, you could check my Patreon link in video description. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video where I compare the print result of this 12K with an FAP and ACF.
Thank you, Matt Joker, for becoming my patron.